One of the problems we see with the relative frequency approach, and this was apparent from the Monte Carlo simulation example that we did in R, is that relative frequencies only provide an estimate for some probability of interest. We wanted to get 0.5 previously, but sometimes it'd be 0.482 and then 0.512. It would deviate from 0.5 by a little bit. And in fact, when n was small, it would deviate by quite a bit. So there is some interest in what is known as the limiting relative frequency. And that's what's defined here. P is the limit as our number of trials goes to infinity of x, the number of e events of interest that occur, divided by n, the number of trials. And that is called the probability that the outcome of the random experiment is in A. It's called the probability of event A. That's how we'll refer to it most often in this class. In some classes, it'll also be known as the probability measure of A. So for example, the uh, flipping of a single fair coin, and that's an important word that has to be put in there. As long as the coin is fair, then P will be the limit as n goes to infinity of x over n, and that will converge to 1 half.